Hi there guys, in this video we'll have a look at the Vulture. The Vulture was added in 1.2, so a while back. It was primarily added as a fighter ship uh, more than anything else. I wouldn't specifically recommend it for trading or exploration, but I'll get into that in a minute. So guys, this is the kind of stats of it. So first let's have a look at outfitting. Um, right. Just got to wait for it to go back in the hangar. Which seems to be taking a long time. Anyway, so on the ship we have two large hard points as our weapons. Uh, a lot of ships at this range may have more hard points, but they will be usually smaller. Uh, these allow us to fit some quite powerful weapons, um, class 3 stuff. Uh, what you could do with this sort of kind of setup is have two pulse lasers. Um, you could have a single pulse and something else, uh, like a cannon or something. Um, there's that one that spams stuff out. Uh, you could have uh, a beam weapon possibly and something else but I wouldn't necessarily reckon two beam weapons because I think they get very hot and they will drag the power out pretty quick but it does give you a lot of range options to do uh, I wouldn't suggest putting necessarily a pulse and a multi cannon because the multi cannons only go up to class 2 at the moment so that would seem a little bit of a waste for a class 3 slot anyway so we have and after that four utility mounts for our shield boosters um, kill launch cannons etc uh, like all other ships we have armor reactor wise this place doesn't sell the biggest reactor but I think you may have to do some power management with this ship um, I don't think it's going to quite give you enough especially because of large hard points uh, it shouldn't be too bad to manage um, but you might have to do that frame shift drive I don't think they sell the biggest one here again uh, this is going to only give you about 16 light years, I think. Um, so that's not too bad in some respects, but it could limit your exploration somewhat. Um, so I wouldn't recommend this ship necessarily for exploration. So after that, we've got our internal hard points. We have a single class 5 slot, we have a class 4 slot, a class 2, and two class 1s. So for trading, this is not going to be ideal. Uh, at this sort of price, there is quite a lot more choices available to you. If you just want to go for pool trading, then a Type 6 is probably a better bet. Uh, but if you're at this kind of money, you're probably better to stretch for a Asp Explorer or something like that. Um, so like I said, this ship is focused on combat and it is a very agile ship. It does have a very strong shield. Um, some of that time rivals kind of the anaconda in some respects um, definitely I would say it's kind of stronger than the python shields um, so anyway that's what we've got so let's have a look at the cockpit so the cockpit isn't too bad we do have a bit of restrictions on the left and right which is kind of hard to show at the moment because it's so dark oh, there you go so you see there's quite restricted view there but in front of us we have these bars but they can't really block they don't think they really block your view much uh, the external wise the ship kind of has an asp well not an asp probably has more of a, a, a viper theme to it uh, with these kind of side wings that kind of make it like an X uh, on a side view so obviously our cockpit is uh, right at the front uh, our hard points which I'll show you when they're out it, are more or less in the center so let's uh, show you the speed Ship so like I said this ship is a very agile ship and a pretty speedy one so 
So speed wise we are getting 215 with a boost speed of three say 340 roughly. So for hard points, uh, the hard points are roughly sort of between the middle and the front, um, just behind the cockpit. So we have the cockpit at the top in the middle and then our hard points just behind it. This should make the hard points have an excellent field of vision. Uh, I can't see you being restricted much. Um, the only thing is I suppose from underside but usually you're fighting ships from the cockpit view which we'll show you above so in the three points I would say it's an excellent fighter it has a very strong shield that kinda nearly rivals an anaconda in some respects uh, it's not very good for trading and I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for exploration uh, for its price it's a very very good fighter uh, thanks guys for watching